Sorry, center line. Yeah? And he would really draw it. And he would write a book trot canter, and none of his uh, paths at the end of, a, of an hour of training his horse would be wider than this. And it was <coughs> then when he gave us a lesson, and we could really see here's the corner and there's the circle, and you have like a half moon untouched between the circle line and the corner. If he would catch us leaving a mark in that half moon, <laughs> God! <laughs> But it actually helps you to control the horse. We could see it today in the circle, how the circle got more even, how Pedro calmed down, yeah, how Nestor became a bit more active and expressive in his whole movement, when all of a sudden Vicky didn't just sit on a comfortable horse, but had to make sure the circle stayed around and let him, let him drift off. Because Nestor, when he was asked to use his inside hind leg a little bit more, says, if I go the circle a little bit bigger, I don't have to bend so much. <laughs> I have less bend, then it's easier. But when Vicky realized that he's drifting out and she kept her outside aids on, all of a sudden, Nestor said, oh, I have to work a bit more. And he took more weight. Yeah? So that, and it actually taught the rider the coordination of the diagonal aids of the board. Inside leg to outside leg. Outside leg with a bend and reflection. We have these diagonal aids to frame the horse. But I did not have to tell Vicky, use the outside leg, use the outside leg, more here, more there. I just said count. Count. And if it gets, yeah, and like you, you count in advance and you see if you have six strides and on number three, you're already close to the other one, you're over half, then you have to slow down a bit. And if you're already at three and you still have ways to go, you have to ride a bit more forward. And if the horse drifts out to keep the six, you have to go forward back in because you're losing half a meter. And that is for show jumpers, those of you that jump. If your horse in the corner drifts out, if you say, oh God, it drifts out, and you pull on the reins to get it back on line, you slow the horse down, you lose another cent a few centimeters. And then you have all of a sudden the jump, the distance gone for over half a meter and the horse crashes into the rocks or stops. Yeah. So if you lose this, you must know, do I have to push forward or do I have to, to keep the six strides? Yeah. And out of this exercise, you can wonderfully build, uh, build um, distances like the six strides inside <coughs> on a bent line and feel how you can drift the horse, keep it in, and, yeah. and that trains you for the show. Yeah. Um,